to see that anger within you and not that dislike towards what's happening. What's happening is just keep shouting. That's reality. What's happening within is probably why are you shouting? You should be screaming. You should be quiet. And therefore there is a conflict between what you want and what's happening. And therefore you get angry. So watch that. And as you watch that, you find that that anger does not lead you to say something or do something motivated by that anger. Assuming that you are able to watch it. Right? If you are watching it and at the same time you are thinking, ah, this should be like that and not everything, then more anger comes up. Eventually, your watching mind and your anger mind too strengthening and maybe your anger mind gets a bit stronger and that's it. Right? And you start to scream back at her and uh, whack her. And it creates uh, an atmosphere of unpleasantness. So the suggestion was, and I fully agree, it's, it's, um, it's actually quite simple. It just takes a lot of willingness to do it. It's actually quite simple. Go inside and watch what's within you. And as just like I was saying earlier, now this unpleasantness that's within you, it can be quite strong, it can be quite unpleasant, but if you're willing to stay with it and understand it, just take it as it is. It's just a sensation. It's a, perhaps unpleasant, but it's just a sensation. You stay with it, and it gets weaker and weaker and weaker. And when you can, when your anger calms down, and I was telling you just now too, I was finding myself in this clarity, in this calmness. So too will you be having this clarity and calmness in front of your child. And when your child sees that, or even feel that, you know, this energy, this emotions that we have, it all creates a certain energy around people. And children are particularly sensitive to this. And when children see that or feel that, then it, it somehow affects them in a way that they don't feel like screaming anymore. But we scream back at them. Although, maybe, maybe if you can scream loud enough, then that kid might shut up. But it doesn't solve the problem. Sometime in the future, same thing might come up again, and she screams. And in fact, on top, on top of uh, that, when she finds something that she doesn't like, she screams. She learned it from you. Or if you beat her, then she doesn't like that, then she beat that person. So therefore, um, it's, very, it's very easy to notice that if, if you, uh, as a parent, uh, experience a kind of childhood where you are beaten every time your, your parents uh, don't like what you did, then when you don't like what your child do, what your child does, then there's an automatic, sort of automatic uh, tendency to be the child. Because that's what you've learned. That's how you teach a child. That's the belief that you have within you. When the child is being Naughty, and well, naughty is an, an interpretation of what happens. Or a child is disobedient, it's also an interpretation. I have to beat her. Because you believe that, you never question that view that you have within you, you follow it, you just do it. Whether or not that's the best thing, don't know, because you never question it. So, if the child is screaming, just stay there and watch your own mind. You don't have to watch the child, you watch yourself, because that's where your suffering is. And as you watch it, your mind will come down, 
and the child just simply has no reason to scream anymore. You know, probably she screams because she wants something. And we just calm down and just be with her and eventually she'll find that uh, my screaming is not working. <laughs> eventually she'll have to stop. Does that answer your question? Same, on the same question, yes. I think things like, okay, now it's, let's say it's a more serious thing, something like fighting. Right. Every time he keep on uh, keep on silent, uh, wouldn't just give a signal, sending a signal to the kid that uh, we accept their behavior? Okay, um, good question. Now when, when I speak about uh, not doing something, I think mean, not getting angry and not uh, hitting them or, or screaming at them or whatever, I do not mean ignore them. You don't have your kids fighting in the living room and then you go to your room and listen to the radio. What I suggest you do is go in front of them and watch them. Enjoy the fight. <laughs> right? I don't think they will be they will be capable of killing each other. Right? Let's watch them. Well, your eyes are watching them, and you're watching. Your mind is watching your your reaction. Wow, interesting. This is what I was telling you, right? Uh, when, when that guy was making all this uh, strange jokes, well, strange to me. That's my interpretation. Um, and I, I was questioning myself, wow, hmm, why am I having this reaction? What, what is it that I don't like? Right? So you just stand there and as your eyes are looking at them and, and you watch yourself, wow, hmm, interesting reaction. And eventually your kid will see that there's this strange guy <laughs> looking at them and they'll be wondering what, and they start, as you pay attention to yourself, there's also that kind of uh, energy. And, and when it comes to this kind of energy, spiritual energy is actually very strong. It's not strong in the sense that it is sort of aggressive, but strong in the sense that it affects people. And they too, if somebody's watching them, and they start to feel a bit self-conscious, you know, what are we doing? Gee, do I want to continue this? <laughs> Try it and see if they stop. Right? And probably, maybe while they are fighting, they'll probably be uh, and telling you, so he did it first, or he did it first, and I, stop him, stop him, and never mind, just continue watch. <laughs> wow, interesting fight. <laughs> and eventually they find that they don't fight anymore, <laughs> because it's, it, it just feels very odd to continue to fight when somebody is just watching. Okay, so that's the middle path. One extreme is to scan them, and scream at them. The other extreme is to ignore them. So this is the middle path. Pay attention. Pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to what's happening. That's all. It's very simple, isn't it? You have a question. Well, you can help them, um, as in, well, people don't fight for no reason. You can, you can, you can accept that, right? People fight for a particular reason, whether that's uh, uh, what you call a good reason or bad reason, whatever. They have their reason. So, you can at that time ask them, so now how did this start? What, 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 what happened? Why, why, why did you do that? Take it as an opportunity for them to understand why they did what they did. Maybe one, one, of, one, this one guy is telling them that his brother did something. And say, so when he did that, how did you feel? Well, I didn't like it. I, I, I feel angry. Okay. So, and, and